Hello everybody and welcome to my playthrough of Raycoon. Um, I've played this game in the past. It's been several years. I, th I think this game is fairly old, but I really loved it the first time I played it and hopefully I'll really love it again. It's, uh, it's a pretty good story. It's a nice little story about a little kid who's in a medif medical facility and uh, kind of sad but heartwarming. Really good, so uh, let's just jump into it with a new story. Who's there? <laughs> Yummy. Hey. Boy. How do you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. Yummy? Where'd you go? You disappeared into the ether. We do something? Oh. <laughs> Wrong keys. Can't interact with the phone. What the hell? Fill the sink with water. <laughs> yeah? Of course. door is locked. Well, what a bunch of shit. A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Well, I did just fill the sink. So, could do that. Gotcha. I'm not even gonna try to read that. No sorry, Bob. Treatment guide. An extra origami hat. Perfect. Empty. What a bunch of shit. Ring ring. I don't know how to read. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed. Well, why did you put it in my room? It's dumb. Hello? Hello, dear. It's mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. 
so we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read to you, it'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. How heartwarming. That's the sexy doctor lady. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. <laughs> okay, wise guy. I've got a couple of things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. What the hell? Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? It's gone! Doctor, they took it! They take they took Raccoon. What did they take? Raccoon, it's my favorite book in the whole world. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Mmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, huh? I guess that explains why they'd take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's gonna be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows, maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check in, check on you in a bit. I'm gonna go sneak into this secret room over here. See you later. Dang it. Forgot it's locked. <laughs> That's the doctor lady. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? How many have started? Who are you? Now where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Dude's mumbling to himself, I guess. The door is locked. Whoa, what a bunch of shit. I mean, I can't just go anywhere I want? Ooh, I like this broken door. I love breaking and entering. Kisaburo. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? Sure. What's up? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. I feel you, dude. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. Did you hear about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling around through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. 
But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think I've lost my mind. Well, you keep asking me if I need something over and over again, so maybe you have. I'm not one for gossip. Same dude. Leave. See you later. Enjoy your cup of coffee. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Sucks to be Sue. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. You know, someone has to fix the toilet, sure, but why can't it be you? Quit bugging me, kid. I got a lot to do right now. My stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. Peanut tray? Choo-choo. I think you lazy. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal things stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Fair enough. Okay. <clears throat> Winston. Like the cigarette? What's up? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Aww. Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. Interesting. Tell me about Sue. On occasion I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking aimlessly on certain nights. Okay, how about Tony? I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. Makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Yeah, yeah. Cora. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on special on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard they were calling themselves the Tau Cape Heroes. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess you make do if you don't have a regular cape. Can't talk to the unconscious lady? What the heck? So you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I was kind of just... Kind of just dicking around, really. Well... I guess? Yeah, I that's exactly how I feel right now. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know. Gosh. Looks like you really gotta go, though. Do I? <clears throat> well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yeah. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. Well, that sucks. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? Yeah, totally. Thank you. The last place I was pl I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Okay. I want to see your mar marbles, dude. So many different ones. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Cool, dude. See you later. I remember when I first played through this game, Sue was my favorite character, by far. Other than the main main kid. Jackie. I love your flippin' hair, guy! Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? 
perpetual motion machines? Ahem. What can I help you with? Uh, what's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many spe species could benefit from laying eggs. <laughs> But so far, only the platypus and the echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. Oh my guy, I hate to break this to you, but the males don't lay the eggs. <laughs> this kid. This, that face is my face. What can I help you with? Did you hear about the thief? Come here, I'll let you in on a little secret. Now I'm truly afraid. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Not really. A while back I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room. But I was told that that closet has been locked since before I started working here. Suspicious. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye and... But for a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Well, how do you know that you even saw them, Jackie? Come on! Tell me about Panky. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, uh, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! He's a burro. I knew him back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... BURIED TREASURE! <laughs> Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Awesome! See you later, dude. Who are you? Cora. I can't remember what people said about Cora. What's up? Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with pink with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool. <laughs> and don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. <laughs> Point is, I'm gonna do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here feel happier, then it'd all be worth it. Dude, yeah. Chef Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get in there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> Well, if they don't connect, then how do you get the food from the kitchen to the cafeteria? I don't understand. Tony. J 
just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? I don't know. Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Well, that's sad. Ooh, tell me about Jackie. He's a weirdo. That guy- that's- Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. <laughs> but cool. <laughs> if you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Okay. Later, my dude. The door is locked. Look at the sign. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. I'm authorized. I'm the main character. Look at the doorknob. There is an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. What you reading? A book about airplanes. I feel like that makes sense. Tony. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures, when I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where is that nurse with my coffee? Can I, can I check out your music box? A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. <laughs> can you get up and do it though? Can you catch me? Can you catch me? Can you catch me? I didn't think so. What you doing? There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. <laughs> See what I mean? I found 5G. Um, I think that might be currency. The door is locked. Well, uh, who's in the toilet? I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. Thanks, my dude. Hey. A semi-functional vending machine. Interesting. I don't have enough money for a peanut choo-choo. I gotta find more money. Maybe these have money. It's rusted shit. What a- God. What a bunch of shit. Right, that one's still locked. Maybe I can find more money in this. Ew. Yeah, look underneath. You know I'm curious. Oh, five gold. There we go. Now we can buy that angry lady some choo-choos. Why are all the doors locked in this place? choose. I love how I go and steal other people's money so I can buy this lady that I don't know a, a snack. <laughs> Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Yeah, piss off. I want to sneak behind the counter. I'm gonna get everybody's secret. Secrets. Let me use the computer. I love taking surveys. 
Search all the shelves. What are you talking about? An assortment of books, pamphlets line the shelves. A newspaper clipping is sticking out from between the two of the books. Hell yeah, read it! Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Hmm. Several years worth of medical journals. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Read the card, uh, of course. Closet 5C passcode, 1721. I probably need to write that down. That's probably important later. 1721. Exciting. Oh, I'm ready to go. Okay. So. <clears throat> read it. A group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. Well, that's nice. I believe this is the cafeteria. Or the way to the cafeteria? I don't flip it now. Yeah, give me more money. <sighs> Baloney. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Okay. Cool. Here's the cafeteria. A pile of freshly made plushy toys. How can you tell if they're fresh? It's not like a it's not like a pie, you know. It looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Hell yeah, check it out. You found a snowy marble. Sweet! Now I can use that girl's bathroom for no apparent reason. I told you you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital! Dude, not mine! Not my cat! It's fine. She's a seeing eye cat. Okay. My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky is the worst. You gotta be nice to the man who makes your food. Just saying. I've been there. <clears throat> Don't want to mess with the person making your food. Hey, kiddo. You need something? Yeah, what's up? Talk to me. Tell me your secrets. I'm just fin finishing up a batch of plushies. Are they stuffed with cocaine? My goal is to make one for all of the patients on the floor, even cranky old man men like Tony and Panky. <laughs> eh, I heard that. Good. Hey, kiddo, you need something? Did you hear about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the pass code, the passwords somewhere beneath the reception desk that's across from Casa Burrow's room. Oh yeah, I already found that out. Way ahead of ya. What do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. Oh, I know all about the people here. Tell me your secrets. Have you noticed Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on? Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Oh, I know all about the people here. Okay, that's just repeating before. I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd open up to you a bit. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. <clears throat> well, that's sad. I remember the story about Sue being really sad. Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? I'm always hungry, my dude. What's up? Did you hear they finally stocked a vending machine out in the hospital hall with peanut choo-choos? Yeah, I already found that out, my dude. <laughs> the shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids that like them, eh? 
fuck did you hear about the thief? How could he not? He was the one that was bitching about it. Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? No. Comes down after hours and no one gets through that. Oh, it's one of those... One of those store doors. Like a garage door. Can't see it though. I bet they somehow got into the back space. <clears throat> The backspace? Yeah. It's a network of closed off passageways. Half built rooms, storage closets, you know. The aftermath of, math of, well, yeah, it's crazy back there. Okay, so. I vaguely remember there being some kind of like very odd, this is kind of like end of the world ish times. Like, all of the catastrophes before the end of the world sort of thing. Which seems odd in a game like this, but... <clears throat> tell me about Danielle. Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> eh, what can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Kisaburo. If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure? I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet, but if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. Cool, dude. Can I have some coffee? I'm gonna go pacify an old angry man. <laughs> Who are you? Sorry, hun, but you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. <sighs> Do what I want. Let's see if we can get some coffee. Was there coffee in here? Oh no! Restocking soon! What the hell? Be nice to your mom, she works really hard, you know. Of course I'll be nice to my mother. We can look in this. <gasps> money? Yes! I love money. I also love robbing these doctors. <laughs> Wait, I forgot I had a marble for this girl. Oh, can I steal- can I steal your stuff? Nope. You give the snow- snowy marble to Sue. Oh, you found my snow world! Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just marbles, you know. 
They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets with tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they're always having parties. What kind of parties? Snowmen dance parties. I love dancing. Me too. These children are so flippin' cute. Oh, they have pretty lanterns everywhere too, and a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah. Feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. She is so adorable. More houseplants that need water. You'd think they'd take a little better care of them. Alright, let me in this. <gasps> let me break this. Always fill the sinks with water if you get the option, kids. Always. <gasps> Flush it, yep. Is it gonna flood? Yeah, totally take it! Always pull things out of the toilet when you find them. Tony's bathroom. Okay, 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 we're getting somewhere. Wait, Tony's the angry old guy, right? <clears throat> hey, don't mind me, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna break into your bathroom real quick. It's all good. Fill the sink with water, as per tradition. A box labeled power supply. Just turn that shit on, dude! Okay, maybe read the notice first. Do not tamper with this device. You're talking to a child, man. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mess with it, okay? See you later, Grandpa. Please enter the passcode. Hell yes! Hell yes! Oh wait. Oh. I thought I could use the number key. I cannot. You creepy guy. Hold on, I gotta read stuff. Please begin transfer medical su medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Read it. it yeah, we always gotta read creepy messages. Interesting. Paper clipping. Yeah, read it. Yeah. March 14th. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Hmm. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacu evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. Hmm. Several years worth of medical journals. It looks like there's something beneath the folders. Well, get it, dude! Hell yeah, a key! No. Does it go to this? Oh yeah. 
Laminated card. Obviously read the card. 5C passcode. Hmm. 29. 54. For 5C. How nifty. Someone's weathered journal. Yes, look inside. <clears throat> we weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Well, that's ominous. Oh, this must be the code for the door that we, like the code we just found is for this door. Get back here, creepy guy! I want to talk to you! I'm a child with the need to harass. Can we move these? <gasps> Ooh, we can. Heck yeah. Pull the lever? Always pull strange levers, children. Always. Always pull strange levers. Nothing bad will happen. A representative from Something Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personal, ma personal materials are removed before then. A jar with an unknown specimen. I hope it's a foot! A pair of glass beakers. Can I break them? That sounds like fun. Medical pamphlets and office supplies. Hell yeah, look inside. Key to metal door. Is it the metal door out here? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it you? It is! Get back here, sir! A stack of folders. We'll read them! I got a, a, a card key. Yeah, read it. Joji, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We just can't go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. And I found money! Haha! <laughs> Can I wear this? No. Ooh. Bills and tax forms. Well, I don't give a shit about that. I'm a child. I don't pay taxes. Ooh, another card key. Yeah, take it, please. Thanks. Thanks. Give me that one back. Sweet. These puzzles are a lot easier than I remember them being. Maybe I'm just not quite as stupid as I was when I was, you know, 10 years younger, however long ago it's been since I played this game. Epic. Yeah, take it. But, um,.
Yeah, I guess we'll read. For security purposes, all three supervisor keys must be inserted in order to open this door. Okay, so I have to put one in each door? Here? That seems kind of silly. Okay, that worked. Perfect. Let's go. Because it's always a smart idea to follow strange men into strange doors. Hmm. <gasps> There's my book! My book! Pick it up, pick it up. Oh no! He's here! Old man. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? <laughs> I guess you kind of caught me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry. Down on my look. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, are you hungry? I've got a bit, a bit of fish head left from last week, if you'd like. You telling me you got weak old fish head in here and you're offering it to a child? <sighs> For realsies? Uh... That's okay. But thank you. That is the appropriate response. Look, kid. I'm really sorry I took your book. Please take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. And I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. I just need something to figure things out. Or I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh! One more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Well, I do like secrets. I like secrets a lot. Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply. Become sharp as a tag. But if you, all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Oh, a mirror. Pretty sure it's a mirror. What in the world are you doing in here? I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyway, come with me. Your mom's here. But I wanted... I, I didn't... I didn't get to... I didn't get to, like, look at everything in here, man. Come on now. Mom! After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Raccoon for me, Mom? Of course I will. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach Rakuen? that one, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morisora. 
for it has been said that Morizoto would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizoto granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwood. Good night. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I've been saying that word wrong the whole time, man. Mom, is that you? I'm like a Skyrim NPC. <laughs> Must be the wind. Hey. Yami! You came back! I told you it would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. <clears throat> that place is like a construction zone right now, man. Seems awful dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your ma. Yeah, me too. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy too. The silver on the side probably s sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in this hospital. He could leave any time, but you? You might never leave. Talk about depressing my guy, what the hell? Oh hey man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel better, I'm stuck here too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. Alright, asshole. Don't come back. Yummy. Yeah. I hope you get better. Kind of a prick for not saying it back. <gasps> There's a letter on the floor. More things for me to loot in this hospital. Yes! Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh, what's the matter? I wish I could go to Morizora and ask him to grant me a wish, but I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but... But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money? No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizora's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet him. But... When the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. This is the Rayquin key. You need it to open the book, as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start to appear around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I don't know. And we may never know unless we look for ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special. 
and now it belongs to you. Never entrust something special to a child, ma'am. <laughs> Silver Raekwon's book key. Thank you, Mom. But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. Oh, I promise. I'll take such good care of it. Good, then there's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morisaurus Forest. If you want to talk with Mom at any time, press Q. It looks like someone left you a note. Hell yeah, read it! It's for me, man! Break me and I'll multiply, become sharp as attack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Figured you might need this in writing. There's something crazy there's something crazy where I live. I had something to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while and maybe you can find it. Pretty sure it means mirror. Haha, <laughs> I'm so smart. Look at me go. Like it was a hard puzzle or something. You found Uma's key! Woohoo! <clears throat> Alright, Mom. We're going on a crazy venture. Now we can ruffle through his shit. I need them tools. This is the entrance, my guy. This is so strange. Mom, the Raccoon Key. Uh, Raccoon? Raccoon Key. Whatever it is. It's magic, dude. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but I just love the music in this game. It is so wonderful. Woo! Okay, let's go! Mom? I don't want to be here anymore. I know, dear. But you know what? What? Now that you're the keeper of the key, you can go anywhere. Even to Morizora? To ask him for a wish? If that's where you want to go? Can we go to together? Of course. Well, shall we? <laughs> okay. villagers. I forgot about these little things. They're so cute. We came through the door behind us. There's no door behind you! Yes, there is! I think the tall creature must have hit their- the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm. They're talking crazy. I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them. I see. You must be lost. I've never seen you around Morizora's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're tourists then. 
I guess you could call us that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. A book about... us? Yeah! I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Raekwon? Yeah! That's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to do while you're here? Well, I've always wanted to meet the great forest guardian Morizora. Ah, Morizora. He lives in a cave just northwest of the village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time, and it's not easy to wake him up. Anyway, this is the Liebel Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails! Hush, it's not nice to talk about others behind their backs. Or about their backs. <laughs> hey. Sorry. I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like it is all. Well, cool. I'm gonna steal your tea, bro. <laughs> and your food. Om um, nom nom nom. Can I buy shit from you? I can't remember. Um, no thanks. Yeah, save the game. Why not? I... Let's save over this. Alright, cool. We made it to the Liebel Village, which is one of the first uh, worlds that you can go to. I think there's quite a few, if I remember correctly. But anyway, I think I'm going to end this here, and uh, I hope you all will join me for the next one. This game's pretty long, so this is probably going to become a decent-sized um, series. Although, I feel like I'm going through it a lot faster than I did when I first played it, so... It might not be as long as I'm expecting it to be, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Thank you all for watching, and uh, goodbye for now.